The Good Energies Foundation decided to join the IPXC pledge last year at COP26. We joined because we believe it is both a cost-effective climate mediation strategy and a moral imperative to protect and secure the rights of indigenous and forest peoples. Our organization has been working on indigenous people's rights, including Tina rights, since the foundation was set up about 15 years ago. Over the years, our partnerships with local organizations and indigenous and forest peoples in the Amazon, the Congo, and Indonesia has made it clear that issues regarding rights can be deal makers or deal breakers. In our experience, land tenure issues often determine the success or failure of interventions that aim to achieve sustainable land use management, such as forest protection and restoration. We've seen many examples where security of land tenure starts a positive cycle of enhanced rights for local communities and indigenous peoples, improved livelihoods, more sustainable land use management and strong forest preservation. On the other hand, unsecure, contested or violated tenure rights fuel a negative cycle of violence, threats and insecurity and forest loss and degradation. And let's not forget that in 2020, an average of four people a week were killed trying to defend their lands. And that number is likely to be conservative as not all threats and death are reported. Learning from our partners is now backed by science, including the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which recognizes the importance of securing community land for climate change. Indigenous lands with secure tenure are better preserved, experience less deforestation and forest degradation. Of the widespread Amazon fires in 2019, only 6% were on indigenous lands protected by long held community practices. So as funders, we need to continue to accelerate funding and also ensure that spending happens for, by, and as close as possible to indigenous peoples and their territories. 